Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a different one and I kind of wanted to film it a lot for myself and it is my most used makeup products currently. I think there's 10 or 11 that aren't Project Pan items. And I think that if you don't Project Pan, I don't know if it'll be of interest to you, but for me, I am 29 on the 13th of July and I have been panning since my entire 20s pretty much. And I never ever, unless it's the weekend, had really ever allowed myself to use anything outside of that until this year and last year. So I just, and it's like a big deal for me. So if you're interested in seeing what products I actually use a lot that isn't in a project, then I'm actually just gonna get into it. Okay, because I find it a big deal. I don't know to you, but I really do. So I wanted to do it and see like, is it still gonna be this in a while's time? I don't know. So this first product is actually my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops Brightening, it says. I got this on Cult Beauty and it's so expensive. It's so expensive. I think I'm gonna show you a close up, but this is a huge deal for me. I am down, I am down to here in this jar and I only got this recently enough. So down to here and I'm panning a primer. Like that is a huge deal for me. And it's not even, I don't know why I'm making this to be a big thing, but it is for me. I really like it. It's not like, it's lightweight. It's like a glowy primer, but it feels nice. It just feels nice. It almost feels like a bit of a transparent skincare product. And I just feel like I just really like it underneath my foundation. Like, does it make things, it's not like, you know, like with a highlighter or with a liquid highlighter, like there's an actual glowy speck. This is actually just like it makes your skin glassy a little bit. I just, I'm really enjoying it and I think it shows. Like I might actually finish this outside of a project pan. It's so expensive, would I repurchase it? Probably would actually, probably would repurchase it. Would I like this in the winter as much? I don't know, but definitely in the spring and the summer, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. The next two products are foundations and they're my most affordable foundations in my collection, which is, I'm technically the oldest because I bought them in 2020. So this is really surprising to me as well because is this not meant to be like a dupe of the It Cosmetics CC Cream and yet I reach for these more? This is in the shade F5, which is my fake tan shade or tan shade. And this is the shade F3, which I believe is my regular skin color shade. I was struggling with this. It seemed to match me perfectly fine when I'm at my normal pale shade. But I need to test that theory in a different lighting. I've been at home, guys. I need to look in the horrible, horrible wind visor, what you call it, the sun visor in the car, because that's brutal. It's like a fitting room, it's so brutal. This is a fuller coverage, moisture-ish foundation. I technically have oily combination skin. Depends on the time of year, but oily combination. And I just, I have been reaching for this over everything else if I'm going somewhere where I actually want to look nice, which I know is few and far between now, but I went to a birthday recently and I reached for this. It is full coverage, but you can like make it not so, it just depends on how you apply it. I was going to a birthday, as I said, or I don't know, did I, and I put it on and I was just, I opted for it so I knew. There's only 26 mils in these. I don't believe they are discontinued, although I really hope they don't because I just really like it. I think I paid 11 euro for these. I think that's what I paid. And I love them. I actually just love them. They're from, if you haven't said, the Revolution Pro CC Perfecting Foundation. They're just so affordable and they don't oxidize. They do come off your face after a while, right? Okay, they, like it's, it's a given. But for me, everything used to come off my nose and my big pink nose would come out, then my forehead, but it's like it just disappeared over time throughout the day. Well, it wasn't the day, it was like, I put it on in the morning and I did not go to bed till 5 a.m. And by 5 a.m. I was removing my makeup anyway, but it didn't come off splotchy, which is really weird. It's not drying. I didn't find it drying at all. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I didn't find it thick and I didn't find it heavy, but again, it just depends how you apply it. And it's like a nice gel kind of formula when it comes out. It's like the It Cosmetics CC Cream in its like viscosity. But anyway, I love this and I will repurchase it if it's still available once I finish it. I am working on one now that's way too light that's nearly finished, but I love these, I really do. Firm to all of my expensive foundations currently which is saying something. For concealers, there are none. I literally am after, I have two left, I think. I'm after declutter and loads because they just don't work for me. So what is next? 
there's a single eyeshadow, okay? I don't know if you can get this anymore, but I have been reaching for this and I hit pan in it. I don't know if you can see the pan up close. I just hit pan in it today. It's the Essence Single Eyeshadow in Hazel Me Not and has 2.5 grams in it. And I, I really reach for a matte cream shade all the time or like this cool tone contoury light brown shade. So it works for my eyebrows. It works for contouring my nose and my jaw. I don't really contour all that often, but I leave it out on the desk and I use it every single day, at least on my nose. You know, I have this weird anchor shape dip in it, but I hit teeny, teeny pinprick pan. If you know I'm panning eyeshadow right now and I'm panning like over 28 shadows, like to finish, not to mention ones I have, I have in to hit pan on. So having any eyeshadow have any usage on it outside of that is like weird to me in a good way, in a good way. So I'm happy with that too. This one I got, I got this product from Root. This is the Essence Brighten Up 10 ba -ba -ba Banana, ba -ba Banana Powder. <laughs> I looked for this, Root said she got it in Pennies and Primark. So I went to my local Pennies and Primark and they didn't have it. Irritating, isn't it? This is a banana powder, a, a pressed one, and it has a bit of cake up, which I just love. It doesn't have as much cake up as the Wet n Wild Dulce de Leche, the cream side. Like it's not as powdery as that, but it does a bit. I love this under my eyeballs and it's from Essence. And I will buy this. If I find this, I will buy this because I just think it's great. Like I haven't, I don't own any expensive uh, banana under eye powders, but it's hard on my mind to think what they would do that this one doesn't do. It doesn't, I have crepey under eyes. Like they're really crepey. God forbid when I get full on wrinkles, if this is how crepey they are now. But they have like these crevices, obviously. Yeah, crevices and veins. I don't have it on today. I have terrible, terrible concealer on today. I was trying to see, was there any way in me making um, my expensive concealers work? And I've just decided I just can't. But anyway, I didn't put this on. I should have actually to try salvage the situation. This kind of, obviously it's banana powder, so it brightens under your eye, right? But it also seems to smooth out the other, the under eye a bit. And it doesn't oxidize. Cause I find sometimes if I put a banana powder or powder down on my concealer, I might have like a dark indentation under there. It doesn't do that, but I really like it. I also use it to tidy up my eyeshadow. I think it's great. I think it's fantan. And I use it all the time. Even if it's not in my shop mustache, I reluctant to put it into a project pan simply because I use it anyway. I really enjoy it. And I only got it recently from Ruth. Thank you so much, Ruth. I really appreciate that one. I really do. This one, this is the blush that I've been using and I'm panning blushes. This is the Baked Bellini Powder Blush uh, from Milani. And I was looking for Luminoso when I went to buy this, but I'm actually so glad I got this one. So glad, I love it, I love it. God, I love a McDonald's, God, it's terrible, stop. Uh, it is a pink goldy shift, which is kind of like the NARS one is that you're saying. I don't know what formula this is. This was this. I don't know what formula this is because you hear people talking about new formulas and old formulas and everywhere a formula, formula. Mine doesn't accentuate the texture or the pores on my cheek. It's not hugely intense, but it can be built to hugely intense. And it's not glittery on my cheek. It's a bit of a glow, which I love and as i said i was going to that birthday and i was and you know i hadn't gone anywhere in like over a year i wanted to look nice as nice as i could look I, I never feel like i look nice but i wore this and i just love it like every time i use it everything always goes well look at that can you see that it's just so bloody pretty it's pinky gold so if this is pinky gold what the hell is the luminoso is it peachy gold i don't know but this is beautiful and again I think most of my collection is is uh, affordable. For highlighters, I've been going on about this uh, lately. I don't know if this video going up before the one that I just lost my soul over. I spent, I was rendering, I edited the video and I had it rendering at 11 a.m. Didn't finish rendering till what was it, eight o'clock at night. So then I uploaded it to YouTube and it took two and a half hours, which was unusual. And now a full day later, it is still not processed. This has never happened, although also it is the first video I tried to upload in 4K because I did it on my phone. Uh, yeah, won't be doing that again, don't recommend. If, it, if anyone knows about that, let me know. Anyway, in that video I was going on about this highlighter. This is the Pixie Glowy Gossamer Duo in Subtle Sunrise. And it's a beauty. I, I hear people call this drugstore. Okay, see, 
When I started buying makeup, all you could get, still where I live, you can't get anything really other than Rimmel. I've yet to find a shop in my locale that sells anything other than Rimmel, which really irritates me unless I want to drive to a different county. But anyway, when I hear drugstore, I hear the chemist where I can buy Rimmel. So when people say this, I'm like, no though, this is way too expensive. But now in, in some places you can buy more expensive things in there too but this is the duo okay and it's so beautiful i love it it's a baked gelée is that what you call it it's on a waffle pan and i've been reaching for this pink shade loads i'm really fair okay i have a, a ton of bronzer on today hence why my hands are so paler than the rest of me so when i go food shopping now after this i need to make sure i need to sort out my hands but anyway when I'm at my fairest, I still wear this shade, okay? I just still do. I don't know, is it because I wear my bronzer so high up in the hopes that it'll <laughs> my face a bit? <laughs> but uh, it doesn't seem to be too deep on me. And I, I use this one the most. I use this one on its own and I mix them. And they're beautiful. I love these. And do I need the other one? I don't know. Like, I like this shade out of the two the best. If this was gone, I would repurchase this because I really like it. And I've been using it a ton. And again, I'm pan everything I've showed you, I am panning something in that category. And this is getting a lot of use, a lot of use. I might not look it, but we all know how long things take to show any, any difference. This one's from Aldi. Guys, I use this every single day, every day. This is the Liqueura Healthy Glow Overnight Relaxing Facial Spritz with Jasmine, Lavender and Chamomile. Chamomile or Chamomile? Anyway. I have this on my desk. Oh my God, is it nearly gone? No! I only bought this recently. I don't know that they still sell it. I believe it was 169 euros or two something. It doesn't have like a groundbreaking spray, but what do you expect? God, it's so refreshing. If you don't like lavender, you're not gonna like it. But I find all lavender scents are different. But that's probably because they all have different things added into them. But even my lavender oil, which is pure lavender, I would assume. I have three, one's empty. They all smell different. Why is that? Anyway, I love this. It's so refreshing. It's just so refreshing. And I use it every single day, a couple of times a day. I leave it at my desk. I was gonna say at my desk in work. At my work desk. And then I bring it downstairs with me in the evening. And I spray it. I just love it. And I use it an awful lot. It's a, like a, mist, a makeup mist. For bronzers, I have been using this all the time. And again, I think I got this this year as well, I believe early this year. This is the Nabla Skin Bronzing Sun-Kissed Effect Bronzing Powder in Ambra. In the shade Ambra. I believe that this is also a baked gelée. What does that even mean? It's just rock solid. Like there's not gonna be any kick up. It's like it's one giant mass. God, there's so much usage on that pan and yet you can still see the word Nabla, but I use this all the time. It is, it's not a, it's like a satin finished bronzer. It's buildable. It's not, when you put it on, you're not gonna have boom bronzer for me anyway. And it's buildable and it's not matte and it's not shimmery. It's like just a satin glow. It's kind of like, I keep saying candle glow and things, but like it really is. It's just like a natural glow. What do you call that? It's not shimmery. It is not matte. It, it just is. Like, well, what do you call that? What is, is that called satin? Like glowy. It's a glowy, a natural glow. I want to put it on now. But again, I wore that to her birthday as well and I felt safe in it. And I wasn't overdone on the cheek. I, I always overdo. But there, everything just blended quite nicely. It's such a handy one. If you're terrible at applying, at applying bronzer like I am, I think this is a good one. It's kind of expensive. It's an Italian brand. I believe I bought mine on Beauty Bay. I have everything linked down below that's linkable in my description box. And I also mention what they're called down below. So if you wanna see what anything is, it should be down there. It takes me, sure takes me long enough to put it all down there. So I should mention that it's down there. For lip gloss, this is a very, very recent purchase. When I say recent, I mean three months. I got it three months ago, I think. This is from Be Perfect and it is the double glazed lip gloss in baby girl. Baby boy, you say you're my mind. When I first got this, there was a smell, a little bit of a smell, but now it doesn't, now it doesn't seem to be. My sense of smell is atrocious. I, I don't know if you're new here or no, but we have a bad sense of smell over here. I love, this is a very pigmented gloss. I tend to like glosses that aren't, but I actually wear these as literally a lipstick with a lip liner. They're that pigmented, but I love a nude. Oh, I'd like to wear that now. Probably go better with, 
kind of why I'm wearing pink makeup with a green outfit. I don't know if that goes all together. I don't know if it goes. It's my first time wearing this and I really feel like I'll get it dirty in two seconds. I will get this. This will get dirty. As soon as I put my hand up against me, we're going to be dirty. We are, I just know it, I feel it. I'm gonna have a random stain on me now. This brand is Be Perfect Cosmetics, which is in Belfast, which is in Northern Ireland. And it was so, I ordered it online and the Belfast website says, so pretend I ordered it at like three o'clock on Monday. I can't remember, but say it was three o'clock on Monday. It was here Wednesday. That's a huge deal. No express weird shipping, just regular standard. And it was here, which is such a big deal. And it's just such a nice color. I can't put it on because it's pink. I never wear pink on my mouth. It's so nice. I've been using it all of the time outside of a project and I'm panning two lip glosses. Okay, so maybe I should rein it in a bit on this. There's like eight mils or something. There's a lot of product. I can't remember. It's on my inventory, but I think there's eight mils of product in here. Eight. Then for eyeshadow palettes, I messed up my best of beauty, whatever it was for 2020, because it's like I neglected to include the first six months of the year. So note to self for the end of this year, because it's the same as last year. These two palettes from ColourPop, I'm using all the time, all the time. And as I said, I'm panning 10,000 eyeshadows. So stop it. But summer for me is the ha my mentally most relax or at peace time of year and I think it's just because every other time of year it's dark when I go to work and it's dark when I come home from work and it's raining and it's cold and it's windy pretty much all the time it's probably because I was just working long enough hours but summer just makes me feel better so I was just like I'm giving myself permission to use my happy time products which I should do all, all of the year but anyway these, this is from Colourpop, if I haven't already mentioned, and this is the California Love palette. <laughs> I'm sorry. And this is the Whatever palette, which I believe is from Clueless, is where I'm getting that from. So the Colourpop Whatever is the one I'm using the most. And here it is here. Oh my God, I thought something was missing. Like I've used this palette so many times. And can you tell? I don't know, but it's never been in a project. And it has enough use where if you see it up close and personal, you can see disruption and use across all of the pans. My favorite shade is the shade Not Okay, because that's just where my preference is. And I actually now have that in a single. I didn't even realize. Anyway, the shade Not Okay is my favorite shade. I have it in a single because I did that build your own thing a while ago. Every single shade I love in here. There's a Super Shock shade there as well. And I use them all. And it's very like summer appropriate or hot. Well, I'm not very... I'm not necessarily seasonal when it comes to my makeup. There are things I will reach more for, but I will wear grunge and I don't, I don't care. I wear whatever, whenever. But anyway, this I find is very like this time of year appropriate. Like it just screams warm weather. Just love it. It's very sultry as well on the, I, I can only speak for blue eyeballs, maybe green, but it's very sultry on the old eyeball. Oh my God. Yes. It's stunning. I love it. 12 is it 12 us dollars what's that in euros like nine euros and now i know shipping over here can be a pain in the neck but i've ordered from them i think like six times now and i only have to pay customs twice again i know it's when you go over a certain threshold but it's not the worst thing in the world to get over to ireland and it can it takes a month one month to two months for me but once you go through it once it's not as big of a deal after that. But anyway, I haven't bought anything from them. But uh, yeah, this is the Colourpop Whatever palette and I absolutely love this palette. I love this palette. And I know a lot of people don't like Colourpop. I really like Colourpop. Their, their formula is perfect for me. But again, what do we have over here, you know? Really though, especially that's affordable. Uh, this is the California Love one. This one is like, I'd say this one comes first and this one comes second. This one is so beautiful as well. Look at those palm trees. God, take me to wherever that is. This is beautiful as well. My favorite shade here is Kahwenga. Is that how you pronounce it? Kahwenga. I love it. God, lads, this palette is just divine. I get so happy about it. It just makes me so happy. There is a lot of shades in here. I love the dimension. You see that shade gnarly over here, gnarly. I just think of a surfer dude going, wow, totally awesome. With the when I hear the word gnarly. Gnarly! There are pressed glitters in these both of these palettes, but I believe there's only one in each if you are against them. Particularly the shimmer shades, and then like a pile of the mattes, and then I'm trying to like use them with my pan that palette, and it's so fantastic, and I'm so happy about it, and I have to stop talking now. Okay. Okay, guys, those are the products that I've been using a lot lately that aren't from Project Pans. What are things that you've been using a lot 
that aren't in a project because it, it's really interesting to me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you the next time. Take care. Bye. Thank you.